Good morning, everybody. Just wanted to send you a note and say good morning, happy Sunday uh, to all you beautiful people. Just wanted to share something from this morning um, that hit me. It's called God in the Dunk Contest. Um, I know that may sound crazy, but uh, this is some things that God spoke to me about this morning. Um, first of all, shout out to Gordon and Jones Jr. They did an amazing job, took it to another level. It was crazy. Uh, so fantastic, exciting dunk contest. I know there was some controversy uh, with the outcome. Also, I want to give a shout out to my Pacers boy, Sabonis. Great job in the skills challenge. Uh, he almost brought it home, but uh, very proud of a big man uh, getting to the finals. Um, that being said, um, the dunk contest this year took it to another level. Um, their creativity, uh, athleticism, it, it just rose the level um, this year. Now I want to talk about in another aspect that God wants to take you to another level. Um, in Ephesians 3.20, it says that now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. God wants to do more than you can imagine or even dream of. Um, but how many of us are talking to him, asking him, praying big prayers, um, and asking him to move in our lives? Um, so that's something I just thought of a kind of a parallel there. Um, talk to him, ask him to do things in your life, ask him to show up, um, and make sure it aligns with his will. Obviously, uh, we need to be careful of what we ask for, but if we do things and ask God to show up and it aligns with what he's trying to do in the world, bring people to him. Um, help people, make things happen, um, that honors him, that, then those things will come to fruition. Uh, second thought is get in the game. Uh, many of us want to dunk like that. Um, that was crazy. Um, I love the Jordan Dominique ones back in the day. This was, this was one of the most exciting in a long time. Um, I remember when I was a kid, I would, uh, me and my buddies would go, there were some nine foot goals and we would dunk and try and do stuff and we fell on top of the world um, like that, those people. Um, but we're in a game. Uh, it's more serious. I'd say it's a battle every day uh, for, for our souls, for our minds, for uh, salvation, um, good versus evil, all those things. Um, I was reading in Judges 6 this morning, and there was a guy named Gideon that uh, God came to him and said, hey, I want to use you. And he was real with him. And you can be real with God when you talk to him. He's like, hey, why is all this bad stuff happening? Where have you been? And God says, hey, I'm here, and I want to use you right now. I want you to get in the game. Um, and, and his response is probably like a lot of ours. is like, hey, um, my clan is the weakest. Um, I don't think we can get in. It's kind of like, uh, hey, we're last in the basketball standings, and hey, I want to use your team to get to the championship. Uh, God uses the simple things, the weakest things, to confound the wise, the Bible says. Um, he did a lot of tests. Hey, God, if I lay the fleece out, make it dry if the ground's wet, things like that. God showed up um, and, and used him and a weakest clan to, to make a profound difference for the Israelites. Um, but I would challenge you, God wants you to get in the game. Uh, I know I was kind of on the sidelines for quite a while. I'm getting in the game. I challenge you to do the same thing. Let's get on the court and let's do something for God. Um, lead a small group, start praying, uh, ask God to give you opportunities to speak to people this week. Um, yeah, and, and lastly, the third thing I would say is, if some of you see this and you don't know God, I just want you to know he loves you like crazy. He wants you on his team, uh, continuing with the game and, and the, that kind of theme. Um, he loves you, it doesn't matter what you've done, it doesn't matter what you've done even this morning or last night, God loves you. Um, in Ephesians 1, 4, it says he chose us in him before the creation of the world to do good things. Um, God wants you on his team and he wants to love you. Um, and he wants you just to, uh, give your love back to him as a response. And, and Romans 2 says God's kindness leads us to repentance. Each and every day is a gift and God loves you and wants you to respond to his love so I just want you to know if you see this, you are valued, you are loved. Um, and here's a quick bit, little four to five minute video just to share some, some thoughts with you. God bless.